today's already a busy day. Um, this weekend, I barely get anything done during the week because of my normal job, but um, uh, KEH Camera has invited me to go check out their warehouse. And uh, so I'm going to go down there. Uh, it's their 40th anniversary, so they got a whole big shindig going down there and everything. So I'm going to go check it out. And oh, by the way, I'm going to get this looked at. Hopefully I can get this fixed because uh, this is a fantastic camera and uh, uh, I want to use it. Um, as well as this guy. Failed a battery check. Uh, hopefully we can get it working. So, uh, yeah, KH has got a uh, big shindig going on today and uh, the CEO invited me down to go check out and tour the warehouse. So let's do it. So we are checking out a really cool camera here. I have never seen this camera before. Um, so let's let's talk about this thing. Uh, okay. What what Hello. is this? My name is Larry Hicks. I'm with KEH Camera. I've been here 26 years, and this is the first time I have ever seen one of these. We we got it in a few months ago. It's a Fuji Natura. It has an extremely sharp 24 millimeter 1.9 lens. Yeah. Originally marketed in Japan only, so you never yeah. really saw them much in the U.S. And I uh, actually read an article about it on another website and decided to put the part in the system and see if we could buy some. And yeah. sure enough, we've had two come through. This one we decided to hold in our reserve collection for a while. Yeah. And um, hopefully we'll be getting more, but they're a street shooter stream, if, you know, 2419. Uh, so low light shooting, or as I call it, available darkness. Um, shoot great stuff on stage, you know, backstage of a band, whatever. Just a great little piece, but you know, Fuji is a lot of times not well known enough for the optics that they made. They made beautiful glass, both large format, 35 millimeter, 120. But this little beauty is just—it's got a cult following. Yeah. So it's, and I can only see it continuing to go up in popularity. Yeah. But because of it, also rarity, because people that get them are just going to hold on to them. So we just walked into literally what is I call the matrix of film photography. First of all, John, thank you so much for allowing yeah, me no to problem. come back here. So uh, let's let's get into it. I um, there's literally where this. I mean, just this is just one small area. Of, it goes way down here. You are now standing in the world's largest collection of used cameras, and I'm feeling a little like a kid in a candy shop. Yashika. Uh, ooh. ooh, the Pentax 645. Nice. 
What is that one? Excellent condition. That thing looks brand new, man. Wow. So these are all ready to go. Somebody places an order online for these and they're ready to go out the door. Absolutely. Everything wow. here. Wow. Ooh, Contact 645. That's a beautiful camera right there, guys. That one right there. Oof. I cannot afford that camera. That's right there. <laughs> This is kind of ah, that's a cool camera. Yeah, the waterproof. The Nikon FCD. Waterproof camera. Some hot sublime. Ooh, oh yeah, there you go. Nice. It's a good thing I don't work here. <laughs> because I probably would not be able to pay my rent. I would not be able to pay for my house nothing like it literally the great thing though is all employees can check cameras out what yes they can check it out they can use them for like a week they just have to write some content for us and give us some pictures it's a great employee discount are, are you hiring for, uh, yes we are <laughs> we're definitely hiring it's a really good program and yep. more oh 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 let me a six that's another great camera man I'm like spotting these all over the place. This that's crazy. I mean, it used to be like they were alphabetical, mm -hmm. um, but it, so it was a lot Ooh, easier. Pentax six seven, yeah, so another they're... six seven. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, Nikon F three T. Man. Some Sigma lenses. Is there a camera that you just absolutely love that you oh, kind of sneak into? Oh, you trying to put me on this spot. No, I mean, you know, I've been, um, yeah. I have a strong affinity. My first, mm -hmm. my first camera was an Olympus OM-1. Ooh, So I nice. have a strong affinity to that. Yeah. Um, but I've been playing with a lot of the new digital cameras. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been testing a lot of them out in Nikon, yeah. in Canon, the new Sony mirrorless. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, they're great. I'm yeah. I'm getting kind of the feel for the nuances of each one, and mm -hmm. I'm never going to, you'll never get me a record <laughs> saying which one I like best. But they're, they're, they're great. Yeah. It's, yeah. And they're, they all have their pluses and minuses. I That's love cool. them. That's yeah. cool. You need to get me out of here, man. I'm all right. Like, I'm like, I'm like freaking out now. <laughs> I'm having too much fun here. Getting palpitations? Yeah, like... <laughs> I cannot be back here, man. Yeah. Ooh, EOS 1 yeah. V. This is a great one right here. And that's a bargain one? Man, it looks brand new. I know. Wow. Well, that's just a small sneak peek of all of this. I mean, John, this is amazing. I mean, yeah. it just goes all the way down there. This is this is crazy. So, um, you guys have like a whole system. Everything gets checked in and, and bins and all that it's stuff. All, so. Yeah, it's actually we have yeah. got a professional team that actually certifies all of them work. Mm -hmm. If they don't, we, we grade them as is. But mm -hmm. they're, we've got highly trained people certify all the cameras that we sell work. Yeah, We put that a 14 day no hassle return on it. We have mm -hmm. a 180 day warranty. The first and foremost thing is that when you buy a camera from KEH, we're going to take care of you. We're going to make sure the camera is even better condition than what you expected. Yeah. We have over 60,000 things in stock at any given time. We're always buying more. It's a dynamic inventory. So if you don't yeah. see what we have, you know, if you don't see online what we you want today, keep looking, we'll, we'll get it. You guys have a wish list feature and I have we do. several of those. <laughs> we have a wish list feature and you can also yeah. call our sales team. Okay. Call our sales team, they'll be on the lookout if something that you mm. want comes in, they'll notify you. Sweet. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that wraps it up for this one. Uh, again, KH, their 40th anniversary, 40 years of doing used cameras. And, you know, honestly, guys, uh, you guys are doing a service for the film community by keeping film cameras alive, honestly. Yeah, yeah we love it. I mean, I think yeah. we probably, you're probably standing in the middle of the largest film collection in the world. <laughs> and we're yeah. super proud of that. We take great care of stuff and we really want to give these cameras yeah. a new life. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this uh, vlog. And uh, thanks again, man. Yeah, thank you. All it's right. good to see you again. Sweet. All right. <sighs> Visit with KH Camera was fantastic. I got a little bit of mail. And uh, give me a second. A little t-shirt from them. <sighs> Whew. A little snug, but it fits. All right, so uh, Edward Conde, uh, he has been really big into half frame photography and uh, Edward, I'm blaming you specifically for this. 
This is a half frame camera. This is the uh, Canon Demi EE17. It is a half frame camera and uh, I should not have bought this. Um, so Jessica, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Check this out. So uh, I'm really excited to test it out. This was in their overstock bin. They apparently they had a whole bunch of these and uh, they needed to get rid of it. The shutter, everything is perfect on it and everything. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe the light seals. Uh, again, this is in their overstock bin. So like this was stuff that they needed to like get rid of. But right here, it uh, looks like a little bit of the light leak, or no, not light leak. Uh, it looks like a little bit of the uh, felt has definitely worn out of the, on that. So um, I think uh, just that's a small really fix. But other than that, I mean, this thing looks insanely clean. Uh, the glass on it looks fantastic. So uh, Edward, your fault. Uh, this one needs a little bit more TLC, but this is the uh, Ryko 500G. Uh, this is another one of those compact uh, range finders. Honestly, I think these are really cool. Uh, everybody's going nuts over these new, um, like the compact XA2s and all that stuff. But honestly, I find this way easier to deal with than like one of the eight, uh, the XA2s and the uh, Olympuses that they got going on. Why? Because I mean, the lens is there, it's ready to go. You wind it, you fire the shot and you don't have anything to worry about. The meters on here are fantastic and everything. So as from a shooting aspect on this, I feel like that I can get to this much faster, you know? Um, but, you know, I, I get the excitement on uh, compact cameras, but I feel like that these really hard are the ones that can shine. I mean, this is a, uh, a 40 millimeter f2.8. Um, you know, the, the Canonet that I dropped off earlier is, um, you know, a 40 millimeter 1.7. Um, and those cameras you can get at roughly the same price as those point and shoots. And I mean, this one right here, a KH camera, even though this one needs a little bit of TLC, I spent 10 bucks, 10 bucks on this camera, $10, $10 for this camera, 40 bucks for this camera here. And uh, you know, I, f I find that we can get more enjoyment and excitement on these. I mean, if anything ever goes bad, you know, it would be most likely the meter, but th this is all mechanical. This will not die on you. This will not, you know, if it jams up on you, you can get it fixed. You know, the, the point and shoots. Once the, the electronics go, you're done. You're toast. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Oh, ooh, a little timer. Okay. I won't press that button again because that was a waste of your time. And I'm sorry. But it works. So, um, but yeah, I mean... KH camera guys, thank you for inviting me out there. I had a blast. I really am excited. I'm hopefully uh, we'll be working with them in the near future. So uh, uh, one last thing. Um, so Fred Sprinkle sent me some mail. And if you guys are interested, uh, you can send the mail. If you want to send us like a zine or anything along those lines, you can send it to Dunwoody Photo right here. Uh, 5500 Chambly Dunwoody Road, Suite 6A Dunwoody, Georgia. Um, and uh, the nice folks over at Dunwoody Photo will uh, make sure to get it to me. Just make sure it's either to me or to Studio C41. So if you guys are ever interested in getting your zine on this show. So let's let's open this up. I'm really excited because on the back it says a uh, little piece of photo history. Um, and I'm really excited to get see what's in here. So what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, Fred, dude, wow, this is so cool. The Kodakery, a magazine for amateur photographers, July 1917. This thing is over 100 years old. Oh my gosh, dude, this this is amazing. Um, This is, wow, look at this. That is so cool. Man, Fred, I, I'm blown away. Dude, this is this is amazing. 
Thank you. Wow. And I have to say, the photography for something that was a hundred and almost a hundred and two years old, this is fantastic. And and this is an amazing condition. Uh, wow, dude. And and there's a letter in here as well. So, uh, hey guys, uh, C41 podcast fam, thought you guys might enjoy this. Found this in an antique sale. Blessings. Keep up the great work, Fred Sprinkle. Uh, so Fred. Uh, Sprinkle, uh, Instagram right here, Analog Fred, and uh, the, uh, uh, was this, Wind Vane Project. So, dude, Fred, thank you, man. That was literally, this is, this right here, I'm sorry, KH camera, this right here is way cooler than this and this. So, uh, that wraps it up for today. Uh, man, I am spent, I am exhausted. Uh, Fred, thank you. I will cherish this. This is amazing. That was too kind of you to do that. Um, so, uh, thank you again, guys. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up for this vlog tomorrow. Uh, I actually publish out the episode with Ben Horn. Um, that was a really cool podcast, uh, episode and a really cool podcast interview. And uh, I'm really excited to share that with everybody. So until then, shoot some film, dig it. <laughs>